A few months ago, I transferred American Express credit card points to Flying Blue Miles, the point currency of Air France and KLM, to book an insanely cheap flight from Chicago to Copenhagen, Denmark with points. Turns out, I actually ended up canceling that flight, but I still wanted to show you the booking process and reveal the crazy cents per point valuation I got from this flight. In this video, I hope to show how powerful credit card points are and the great Flying Blue Miles program. Program. So I'll talk you through the screen recording of me getting two international flights for $162. So in previous videos, I showed how to transfer over Amex membership rewards points to travel partners. And the one that I chose was Flying Blue Miles. With Amex membership rewards points, you can transfer them to a lot of airlines and a few hotels. And Flying Blue was just the one that I chose because I had extra Amex points to use and I wanted to book this exact flight to Copenhagen. Where we left off, I had about 40,000 Flying Blue Miles in my account, and it turns out I definitely didn't even need that much. In fact, I only needed 22,500 points to book two international flights. Just for reference, so that I can show you how good of a deal this is to get two flights for 22,000 points, if we were to take those points and just keep them in American Express and actually use them for a statement credit instead of transferring them out to travel partners, then we would get a statement credit of $135 because Amex chooses to value their points points for a statement credit at 0.6 cents per point. Now we're going to get a lot, a lot more value out of those points when we are using them for this flight. And I specifically chose this date and this flight because it was the cheapest option, as you can see from the seven day flexible calendar there at the top. Any other day you would have had to pay more points, but because my schedule is flexible and I could book around this date, it was perfect for me. Finding the best flights on Air France, that's going to have to be a separate video, but just know that I did a lot of research to make sure that August 9th was the perfect date for me. And as you can see, there are four different options that are 22,500 miles. And that is for two people. That is not for one person. And of course, I do need to note that Chicago is not my home airport, but that is one of the cities that is going to give me such an insane value for my points. And so taking a flight from my home airport to Chicago, that's not really a big deal. It's not going to be too expensive. And I also booked that positioning flight with miles and so I didn't have to worry about paying for that one either except for the taxes and fees. Since there were a lot of options here I chose the one with the layover that made sense. I didn't want to go with the one that was one hour. I didn't want to go with the one that was like nine hours so about four hours makes sense for me. And if we move on to the next screen you can see how I got this flight for so cheap. It's because it's normally 30,000 miles for two people or 15,000 miles for one person but they were running the pro promo fare for this route in this month that I was booking it. And that is one way you can maximize your points with Flying Blue. You can choose a route that they are running this promo fare. And that's why I decided to go with Chicago because that is one of the cities that has a discounted fare. Now, just a little bit of background with this Flying Blue promo. They run this every single month with different cities and they will be 25% off. So I'm so grateful that I was able to lock in this price for the flight. And yes, this is economy. I know not everyone wants to have economy seats when you're flying internationally, especially when you're paying points and you're not actually paying cash for the seat. But in this case, the business class flight was ridiculously expensive. And so the economy one just made sense for us. So now here is the exact flight that we wanted going from Chicago, having a stop in Paris for a few hours and then continuing on to Copenhagen, Denmark, 22,500 miles plus $162 in taxes and fees. Unfortunately, those are unavoidable. You are just going to have to pay this out of pocket. So it's sad you can't get a $0 flight, but paying $162 is a lot less than what we could have paid for this flight if we were paying for it in all cash. After clicking continue, putting in all of our personal information, frequent flyer numbers, all of that, and it kind of took a while, we were ready to submit so that we could get our ticket and then we click continue and there was some sort of error on the website. Don't really know what that is, still don't know, but 
turns out there are a lot of bugs with this website. You're going to run into errors sometimes, which is kind of annoying, but I'm willing to put up with it because of how good this program is. And so I actually switched over to my phone after this to complete the booking. Honestly, the app on the phone works a lot better than the website. So if you're somebody who likes to do a lot of things on their phone, hey, this program might be for you. So after putting in all the information for the flight, I was able to find the exact same one and we click continue. One thing that I wanna point out that I think is kinda of interesting, on the app, I was able to see that I would get one free checked bag, but I remember when I was booking on the website, this was not the case. There was a red X that was saying, no, you do not get a free checked bag. So I don't know exactly what that's about, but I guess I'm happy that I'm gonna get a bag for free. I once again put in all of our information, moved on to the next step, and if you're curious about the taxes and fees, you can see exactly why you might have to pay in cash for some of these things that miles just don't cover. And this time it was saying that it was 152 euros instead of 162 US dollars, which is fine with me. I'm gonna use a card with no foreign transaction fees, and so that doesn't really matter to me. It's gonna be the same price. On the final step here, I'm about to click continue, but just remember we're also gonna to have to go over the cents per point valuation to see how great of a deal this actually is. So clicking continue now and there is another error, but not actually an error that prohibited me from getting the flight. I mean, we just click continue and there we go. We had the booking confirmation. We were set and ready to fly to Copenhagen from Chicago. Something that I do want to note after I confirmed the booking, it said that I was going to be able to get free seat selection. And so when I went to the first flight, I found out that was not the case. Maybe all of the seats were taken up, all the free ones. And then I checked the second flight and the same thing happened. I was not able to select a free seat. Don't know exactly what that's about, but that's totally fine with me. I mean, I don't really care about selecting my seat that much. I mean, usually me and my wife always sit together anyway because we check in at the same time. And usually we get to have the window in the middle or the middle in the aisle. So it usually works out fine. But it definitely is strange that it said that. And I'm not trying to complain about this at all. Like it's not really a huge deal for me, but it is something that I want to make you aware of because this happened to me in my experience. So that's now three things that were like errors or something went wrong, but again, the cents per point makes it worth it. And let's get to that right now. For the cents per point calculation, I already have all the numbers here in this spreadsheet. And you can see that the Air France flight was going to be $1,824. This exact flight from Chicago, stopping in Paris and going to Copenhagen. I got this from Google Flights. I just looked up this exact route and I found the flight and that's exactly how much it would cost for two people for this one-way fare kind of expensive. Don't really want to pay for that in cash. So I'm really glad we have points to do this and we can go here and see how many points it was. If I go there, it is 22,500, just like I had already said previously. And the way that I count cents per point, I subtract the taxes and fees from the cost of the original cash price. So $1,824 minus the amount that we paid in taxes and fees, which came out to $166.02 for two people. That means that we got the cash minus fees at $1,657.98, which means we spent this amount of cents. And if we reveal how many cents per point that is, that is going to be 7.37 cents per point absolutely insane considering that most people say around two cents per point is about how much you can expect to receive but because i got this with a promo fare and it was already a cheap flight and then they knocked off 25 percent of that and the flight is so expensive. I found a cheaper flight on Iceland Air to Copenhagen that if I was paying cash, this is what I would do. I would book this flight instead of the Air France flight because it was only around $1,600 for two people with a stop in Iceland. So to be fair, we should put the amount of points I spent on this flight up against that flight because I realistically would have liked to save $200. So again, we'll put that $1,600 
those up against the 22,500 points. And then of course, subtract the taxes and fees of $166. And then you get a cents per point of 6.39, which is still really, really good. And this really is so, so crazy. And it doesn't even feel real to get this many cents per point on an economy flight internationally, but that is the real numbers. And <laughs> however, I did end up canceling this flight and I got a refund of points and I got a refund of the taxes and fees, but I did have to pay $56 in a cancellation fee. So that kind of stinks. So, and I didn't even get to take full advantage of this amazing cents per point redemption, but it just did not work out with my travel schedule and I had to book a different flight to Europe. So of course I'll have to talk about the actual flight that I did take to Europe and that'll come in a future video. But if you're completely new to getting credit card points so that you can redeem them for free travel or almost free travel, I would recommend clicking on this video right here on how to transfer out your Amex points to travel partners. And if you're interested in signing up for a new travel credit card, I have a link in my description and it'll take you to all of my referral links. That helps out the channel in a big, big way if you decide to use that. And I really appreciate you watching this video and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.